Hello, and welcome to my 20th review. Today I thought I'd do something a little special, and so I bring to you one of my favorite films of all time. Today, The Toxic Avenger. The film is about a 90-pound mop boy who falls into a vat of toxic chemicals, transforming him into a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength. The film is equal parts slapstick comedy, slasher horror, and superhero origin story, and it works on every level. The movie moves along at a great pace, never slowing down and never losing momentum. There's also a fair amount of social commentary shoved in there if you want to try to think as you watch it. It's brilliantly shot, and the picture quality holds up remarkably well. The colors are also especially vibrant. I've always enjoyed the look of the toxic chemicals bubbling in the barrels. The gore in the movie is quite impressive, though as it is a comedy, some of it is played for jokes. It also features quite possibly the most realistic head smash in cinema history, something that was cut out of a lot of versions of the film. The characters are all over the top, and some of the acting is too, but again, as it's a comedy, it all works remarkably well. The movie is also gloriously sleazy, and it makes no apologies for this. Fun fact, Mark Torgel, the actor who played Melvin, was actually set on fire during a scene. If you look closely, after the cop's hands catch on fire, a small bit of the flame drips onto him. That wasn't meant to happen. The movie also has excellent sound effects, especially in the transformation scene. There's a lot of crazy stunts in the movie, including an impressive full body burn and some car action. During the car crash scene, the roll bar became detached and nearly killed the stuntman. Luckily, he was alright. We got an excellent scene out of it. The movie has a great 80s soundtrack. You don't know any of the songs, but you will after seeing it, and they'll get stuck in your head. In closing, I really, really tried to find some things wrong with The Toxic Avenger, and I couldn't. I think it's really one of the greatest films of all time. It put Troma Entertainment, the world's longest running independent film studio, on the map. And you should absolutely give it a watch, whether you've seen it before or not.